So if you remember from last night, I kind of bailed on this job because it was too dark, my ladder wasn't big enough, and I just didn't feel like doing it. So we're back this morning and I have the thermostat calling right now. It's set to like 64 degrees because it's a chocolate shop. Don't want the chocolate melting. That would, uh, that wouldn't be good. The lady isn't here yet. I called her, she said she's on her way. So I'm gonna get to work now, see if I can figure out what's going on while I'm up here, knowing that the thermostat's calling and gonna try not to slip. All right, let's see. Disconnect is on. Let the power comes in here. So we gotta take off this panel. I hear a little bit of noise. Inducer is turning. Moment of truth when the uh, blower kicks on. I think we got a bad heat exchanger. I can't tell if this is from the wind out here. Yeah. Blowing it back. All right. I'm gonna take this panel off. Ooh, that heat's rolling out of there. Oh yeah. A ton of holes in it too, right here. Okay, so, ooh, it's actually quite nice in the sun. Two things we could do. One, we could try and find a new heat exchanger. Probably not gonna happen. Uh, at least today. I have to call around, find the model number, serial number of the unit, try to locate the heat exchanger. It's pretty old, so that brings us to our second option, which is getting a new one. Not gonna happen today either, so we're gonna have to come up with a solution to get heat downstairs. There's no way we're gonna be able to run this unit without uh, you know, pumping those gases downstairs, which is not safe, or having the blower blow air, because that's what happens with these heat exchangers. So when you get holes like that, as they get bigger, the blower motor, as it's pushing air through the unit, it pushes air into the hole, pushing the flame back out, which then trips the rollout switch. That's in a nutshell, what happened? This whole thing's a mess. Just gotta be replaced. But uh, right now, I gotta make some phone calls. So I'll check back in with you in a couple minutes. I'm gonna take all the info off it. And it's old. I mean, it's an R22 system. Better off just biting the bullet and uh, just replacing it. Get a new one, start fresh, no problems. Right now, I'm just gonna pack everything up and I'm gonna send all the info over to the office, let them take care of everything from here because I've got more service calls I have to do. Um, and I guess the person that owns the building, they're gonna have to figure out a temporary solution to get some kind of heat downstairs. But that is not my job. We're back at the shop. Um, I 
I completely forgot what I came here for. <clears throat> it's some kind... I know I need two rib relays. I think I need some kind of a zone control, but I don't see any on the shelf. Okay. Double pull, double throw, double pull, double throw. But why is this a four zone? Oh boy. This is not working. Only one. Yeah. And work it, it's tough. Uh, the, the guy put it and then change it. You see, change it, say, change it here, over there, new. And then I have a leak here, and put it here. I don't know. Uh, and then over there, this is have a piece over there, no good. Uh, I can see for I'll take a look. Yeah, I'll, right. I'll, I'll go through it. I'll take a look. And, and, and then, and then here, here, it's changing. This is the other. How work? Yeah. The, the, the guy coming here, put it. The, the, the guy, see, only one. You see, only one. Problem is, he's a really nice guy. He just doesn't give me five seconds to think. Bro, my my brain right now from this heating season so far is like the mud that's at the bottom of a 51 2 low water cutoff. So. I have zero like mental acuity right now. If that was the right word, might not even be the right word. Look, not water. Look, look, a lot of water. Oh my god! No, it's the water. cold water, water that's leaking. And then, and then this, yeah. Look at this. this it's close. But this is bathroom. No, yes, sir. No more water. Am I gonna fix it now? No. But I still have absolutely no idea. What I'm doing here yet? Been here for an hour. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be right now. I don't even know what I'm doing down here. So far, I've accomplished one thing. I figured out that the thermostat is stuck in cool mode, not heat mode, so it's not kicking on the zone valve. That's an easy fix. Why I was given a switching relay and rib relays and now they're telling me there's apartments that have no heat it's like still don't know what's going on here so just gonna take five regroup and get out of this basement because that smoke detector is annoying so this line isn't heating i'm gonna follow it down here's cold there's absolutely nowhere for me to purge it out. I just don't know. I don't know. If you were in my situation, what would you do? Lunch. So. I think this was a huge waste of time. Because all I do is change the thermostat. I've been here like four hours. My boss stopped by, thank God, because he decided we should change the 0010. When we took it off, it looked like the impeller was grinding on the inside of the, the cast iron. Which, you know, we'll see. We put an NRF 33 on. And also changed the head assembly on the, uh, what's it called? On the zone valve that I couldn't get off. He just took a pair of tin snips and cut it. I was trying to keep it looking nice, but right now uh, it's not heating still. It's four o'clock though. To cut open the system now would mean having to bleed air in the entire building. And that is just not going to happen tonight. 
So I'm going to finish my lunch because apparently I get hangry when I don't. And from here, I got to take a trip over to Hudson County, which at this time of day, I'm not far. Hang on, I'll put it on my GPS. All right, it says, at this point, who cares? I guarantee you, I don't get there to almost five. We're actually doing pretty good on time. I forgot most of the traffic is leaving the city. Look at that view. Well, I just pulled up, but I got some bad news. You told me what's going on in this building. It's nothing major. It, it keeps tripping on the manual reset high limit switch, which, you know, obviously that's not a good thing but it's so intermittent and at random that right now for today, I'm just gonna hit the button, reset it, get them some hot water. We can come back tomorrow and do a good, you know, troubleshooting. Probably not gonna be me, but you know, someone will come back and look at it. But he said, hey, uh, the super for these two buildings called me and said, I have, two boilers in each building that aren't working it's like bro you wait till 4 30 in the afternoon to call and say that there's no heat really i don't leave the truck running because i just don't care i'm gonna run in quick anyway so it shouldn't be that that difficult i actually made it here in good time can you believe it Because you know no one else does it. And what are they talking about? No hot water. Oh my god. Tell me I came all the way over here for nothing. That's a big oil burn. Not even tripped. All right, not much I'm gonna do with hot water working. So I purposely got stuck at this light so you could get this view. Geez, I feel like I'm in New York right now. So I'm actually, fortunately, meeting up with one of my coworkers. So this will actually go a little bit quicker than I thought. Let's go, buddy. Welcome. Well, that'll do it. So far, the only problems we've found is that they're completely full of air. Let's go next door and take a look. I just jumped it out right now, so I'm gonna give it a couple minutes. Maybe go upstairs and ask the tenant why they have their thermostat off. See that, how that expansion tank is just kind of full out in there? Yeah, it's full. This one is 
heating. Also not sure what the problem is. Plumber! It's easier than say HVAC. Okay, so the lady from the apartment we were working on came down and talked to us and she let us know that the lady from the other apartment that we were supposed to be working on, uh, she never called. So it seems like there was a slight miscommunication Either way, those boilers are working, so, you know, we checked them out. Did, didn't actually have to, but that's okay. Um, hers, I forget what it was. Uh, I wasn't the one working on that, but they're all working right now. So, as of right now, it's 6.37. It is time to go home. I'm going to turn my phone off after this, but I just want to say, if you stuck around for this whole video... I really appreciate it. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Um, I'm going to try to make another one tomorrow too because this is really fun. So I'll see you there.